A tsunami alert could be a key to survival for people who live along the coast. But that system could be cut under President Trump's new budget proposal. CBS 2's Cara Finstrom, she's live in Redondo Beach to explain what all this means for us here in California. Cara? Yeah, we're actually going to talk about a couple of different warning systems that directly affect the West Coast, which could be cut. But let's start with that tsunami warning system. Take a look. You can see all the boats on the water here. Communities like this one, uh, it gives them more time to react. It offers information like how large a tsunami might be and the best way to evacuate. Take a look. Back in 2011, a number of area neighborhoods saw rising waters with some boats damaged after a massive earthquake in Japan. Tsunami experts were able to monitor the changing seas with a $12 million global tsunami warning system. It operates throughout the Pacific and uses deep ocean sensors, buoys, and satellites. Tsunami experts say the crippling cuts to it under President Trump's proposed budget would eventually shut it down. We've also got a look at the deadly impact a tsunami caused by that 2011 earthquake had in Japan. The global warning system is credited with saving lives in other areas that were later hit hard, including Crescent City in Northern California. The harbor there was completely destroyed. Scientists are voicing growing concerns about the possibility of a devastating tsunami on the West Coast that could threaten thousands of lives and cause widespread coastal damage. Now, also threatened by the proposed budget is a separate warning system for earthquakes. Let's give earthquake, you a look at what we're talking earthquake. about here. The seismic warning system has been under development for years with the goal of giving communities precious seconds so that they can stop surgeries. Trains can be halted. Natural gas can be stopped in pipelines. Now, the system is expected to start rolling out sometime next year, but that is threatened now by these cuts. However, a House panel is expected to restore the $10.2 million that is needed for it today. So lots of folks, Jeff and Sandy, will be watching to see if that indeed does happen. Lots of room for discussion here because both of the cuts we're talking about in this budget to these warning systems, those would have to be approved by Congress. All right, Cara, thanks very much. Thanks, Cara.